In this video, we're gonna talk about the five most common problems with your ukulele and how to fix them. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to You Like the Pros. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification. We do a bunch of ukulele tutorials and reviews also, some baritone and guitar lady right here. And if you're on Instagram, check me out over there at You Collect the Pros. We're gonna go over the five most common problems you have with your ukulele. What are those common problems? Boom, you buzz, buzz. <laughs> Two, ukulele tuning. Mm -hmm. Three, string stretching. You ever try to put some new strings on and they take forever to stretch? I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Two, high action. Huge problem when you're playing ukulele. And the last one is humidity. All right, so let's dive into this. First thing is the buzz. This dreaded buzz, or when you're doing a chord. This sound instead of why does this happen? There's a couple of key reasons here. Let's just take uh, let's just take this chord here, this G chord. One, you want to make sure you're playing on your fingertips, not on the pads of your fingers on your fingertips. Two, make sure you're all your knuckles are nice and rounded, no flat knuckles. Flat knuckles mean your finger's gonna droop and you're gonna get a little string buzz on that, okay? Next thing is uh, uh, just a nice kind of relaxed position, playing right up next to the frets without playing on top of the frets, okay, right there. And then over time, you just have this nice, clean sound, okay? So pay attention to all those things, whether you're doing chords, or some single notes things. All right, next is tuning. Well, here's the biggest thing. You have to be in tune. <laughs> you have to be in tune. Do not not be in tune. Does that make sense? Do not not be in tune. How do you get in tune? You can use a tuner. You can use a tuning app if you want. I'm gonna show you just a little, because even people that have those are still struggling with tuning. Let me give you a little simple trick here. When you're tuning, if you notice, if you're hitting the first string, which is A, make sure your tuner says A, okay? A lot of times, people will tune it up. Let's tune it up here. And it will say something like this. What is that? A sharp again, see? So it'll say something like A sharp, okay? Well, that's not it, because you're not tuning A sharp. You want A, so make sure it says A, and you tune it right to A. Now the next string should be what? E, so make sure it says E. If it says something like F, but you get in tune, no, it's not in tune. Make sure that's, that's in the center, the dial's in the center, and it says the right string, which is E. And then the next string should say C, and the next string should say G. All right, the next problem is, have you ever changed your strings? And oh my gosh, the ukulele strings take forever to get in tune. Why is that? It's because of these fluorocarbon strings that we use, nylon strings. They take forever to stretch out. Here's a little tip. Once you put them on, you tune it up right here. Just work it out, just every couple inches. Oops, <laughs> came off the net there. Lift it up, tune it up, do it again. Stretch each string out, tune it up, and then just strum it really hard, tune it up, stretch them out again. You do that over and over again, you're gonna, your ukulele is gonna get in tune a lot faster than it will just by not doing something like that. All right, the next thing here is, what? Oh, high action, oh my gosh. All right, so uh, when you buy a ukulele on Amazon, <laughs> you don't really know what you get, okay? Could come up with a pretty high action. What does that mean? It means the strings are really high off the fretboard. What does that mean? One, when you press down, it's gonna take a lot of effort to press down. Two, as you press down, you're gonna actually be taking that note out of tune because you gotta press so hard, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on that string and, you're, and then that's gonna cause it usually to go sharp. Next thing is, is it's just gonna make your chords harder, it's gonna make your scales harder, and one is just not gonna make it enjoyable for you. So how do you fix that? You gotta get a setup. <laughs> you gotta go spend the money and get a setup. Now, if you wanna watch some videos, learn how to file the nut down, you have a sander, you can take the set off and, and grind it down, that's fine, do it. There's plenty of videos out there, but if not, take it to a local music shop, a luthier, they can fix it, it's not gonna be very much money, it's gonna be well worth your investment. 
All right, and the last problem is humidity. It doesn't matter where you live, although to be honest with you, I don't have a huge problems here in San Diego, but a couple times a year when the Santa Ana's come in, I do. Humidity is a huge, huge problem. It can destroy ukulele, especially the ultra dry humidity. You wanna keep that humidity between 40, 55% at all times. Actually, probably more like 45 to 55%. If it starts dropping to 30, 20, 10%, guess what? Your instrument has a high chance of not only cracking, but your frets, you could have those fret spurs on the side. How do you fix that? You fix it with a humidifier. This is what I recommend right here. Boom, Boveda 90, what is that? Sorry, <laughs> 49%. You throw this in your case, it's gonna keep your ukulele at 49%. It's gonna not only release humidity when needed, it's also gonna absorb it, right? I also recommend getting a, a digital humidity hydro hydro thermometer, I think is what they're called, on uh, Amazon. That way you can check the room as well with your uh, humidity. All right, so those are the five things, common, most common problems you have with your ukulele. How to fix them, what were they? The ukulele buzz when you're playing, bad tuning, <laughs> bad tuning, uh, the string stretching when you put new strings on, the high action and the humidity. So anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.